folks, Travis Fox here with FoxOptic.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to plot uh, some XY coordinates for additional yardages into your Pulsar device. Uh, so basically what I'm going to be showing you here is how to use the ballistic calculator input information along with a known uh, zeroing coordinate and plot additional points. So like in the case of this, this is a Thermion XM50. I've already done a zero on it at 200 yards. So I've already got origin X, Y coordinates, or I've got it zeroed at that distance. And so now what I want to do is I want to use the ballistic calculator to come back and plot some additional points. So like, for example, say I want to put a 100 or a 3, 4, 500 in there. So it's really simple. It's a really simple procedure. I'm going to walk you through how to do that. So let's get started here. So the first thing I want to show you is inside of the actual uh, scope itself, we want to do a long press here and we've got to come in and get our origin start point. So again, I had done that zero at 200 yards here and what we're looking for is these X, Y coordinates that correspond to that zeroing. So that's our start or our primary distance. And as you can see in here, our X is 27.25 and our Y is 16.5. We need to write those coordinates down because as we input additional coordinates, we have to have a known start reference point. So that's going to be our known start reference point. So let's jump over here to the ballistic calculator. And we're going to open up. I've already done the input. So one other additional piece of information I want to tell you real quick before we get too much farther is you're going to find uh, the reticle move adjustment equivalations in the specifications for your device. So like in the case of this unit, it's 7 millimeters at 100 meters. So if you do the math on that, you're going to find out that that's approximately quarter MOA. So in the ballistic calculator, when it asks me, it asks for that input information, I've already put that in. So later on, you're going to see where I'm able to convert that to click values inside of the scope which are going to be full unit click values just like if it were a traditional uh, scope with you know a mechanical turret dial on it so basically that's going to make the process a lot simpler just know that you have to know that data so like in the case of xm50 it's about quarter moa whereas it's going to vary by field of view of the which is going to be a resulting product of base magnification so like the xm38 is closer to 10th milliradian so you're going to need to know that. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a call. It's there in the specifications data on the websites or in the owner's manual. So again, I, I just want you to know that. I want to touch base on it. So let's jump back over here into the ballistics calculator. Uh, we're going to go ahead and tell it to calculate. So I'm going to, we're going to, we're going to mock one distance here. Um, you know, we could do several of these, but I think you'll get the basic idea if I just do the one. So we're in the specified here. We're going to come into that again. I've got a video on how to set this ballistic calculator up. So all I'm really trying to do here is just show you how you would input it into the scope. So I'm going to set the distance in yards. Um, in the case of this, let's do one at 500 yards. So we're going to go ahead and tell it 500 yards. And you can see, so down there in the bottom right, it's telling me based on my uh, information, that I need to make a, an up 7.88 MOA adjust and if you look on the application it's showing you approximately where the bullet impact is going to go so, so basically we're going to be moving the reticle down to that position and, and that way there we would be elevating the front end of the gun to compensate for the fact that that's dropping off on us so you know it's just just know that we're going to be moving the reticle down so that little yellow indicator is giving us an approximation of where the bullet impact would be but we've got to move the reticle down to that point so that it corresponds with the bullet impact point itself so again if i click over here on where that says you know so i've got it set by default in the moa if i click there next to that you can see where i can convert that to clicks and it's telling me that I need to make an up 31 click adjustment. So in other words, the up again, I just want to make sure I'm not confusing you, is up compensation for the bullet itself. So the reticle is actually going to go down to perform that. So we're going to, we're going to jump over here. And so if we need to make that adjust, um, we can see 
that we're going to start from a Y coordinate of 16.5. So let's let's jump over here to the scope. We're going to go ahead and click a long press out of here in order to get into where we can name a new coordinate. So we're going to come down here. We're going to name that new coordinate uh, 500 yards. So we're going to do a long press to save that. The first thing we need to do is we need to come in and put in our origin coordinates. So our origin coordinates, again, we got from that 200-yard profile were 27.25 and 16.5. So we're going to jump in here. I'm going to go ahead and do this a little bit wrong to explain something to you. But we're going to jump in here and we're going to go ahead and make that X adjust to 27.25. Well, as you can see, I'm moving in full units of 1. So I'm not going to be able to make that unit adjust without coming down to, to exactly what it was, without coming down here to magnification first. I'm going to roll this up, and by increasing the magnification, I'm increasing the background image by a factor of four, which is going to cut those unit moves down to the quarter, which is how I got those to begin with. So in doing so, I get a much more precise shot placement because of basically those are 16th MOA moves at 100 yards. So it's going to allow you to get really uh, finite reticle placement. So now, when I come back in here, you'll see where now it's moving in unit increments of, of a quarter. So again, we want to come into this y-coordinate shift and make that 16.5. So we're going to go ahead and, because we have to have a known origin that, that equates to that. So you can see that's where we would end up based on those coordinate settings. So we could go ahead and do a long press on that to save it. And then we'll do another long press because now what we want to do is we want to come in based on the information that we're getting from our ballistics calculator. We want to make a 31 click uh, uh, down adjustment in our reticle to compensate the, for the fact that that bullet needs to come up. So we're going to do that in the Y axis. And as you'll be able to see the little red X inside of here, I'm going to move that down. Well, I'm, as I go down my 16.5, Eventually, I'm going to get down here to zero. So once I'm down here at zero, I need to make another 14.5 uh, adjust negative to, come, to get to that 31 click adjustment that it's telling me I need to be at. So there I am at negative 14.5. So now I've made the compensation that will correspond with that 500 yard adjust. So I'm going to do a long press to lock those coordinate positions and another long press to take me out and we it's going to take us out here and then now you can see on the 500 I've got a negative 31 click adjustment from my primary zero distance which was 200 yards so it's as simple as that to plot those points all I would want you know if I wanted to come in and plot another one I could jump back over here uh, to the calculator I could click on distance, say for example if I wanted to plot a 300, I could go ahead and put in the 300, tell it OK. You know, it's going to give me, oops, I forgot to select OK there, so let's go in 300. you got to tap on that where it says 300 to get it to save it. Tell it OK, so now you can see it's telling me that I would make an up 8 click adjustment. So that's again the bullet up, so I'm going to go down in my reticle by 8 clicks. So let's go ahead and I'll just walk you through one more of these real quick. So we're going to tap on that. We're going to call it 300. Long press to save that. We're going to go, we're already up in our magnification so we can get to our, to our positioning point very easy. So let's go ahead and go to our Y16 and a half. I'm just doing it like this because it'll make it simpler for you to understand, I think. So I'm coming to that origin point. So a short tap is going to put me into the x-axis. I'm going to come over here to 27.25 and I'm just scrolling the encoder wheel to get me over to that point. And that's the nice thing about this new little encoder wheel on the Thermion. allows you to roll it over there real quick. So there I am at the 27.25. I'm going to do a long press to lock those coordinates. 
Now I'm going to come back in there so that you can see all I'm basically doing there, and, and you wouldn't necessarily have to lock those coordinates. You could just start from that deviating point. I'm just doing it to try to make it uh, simpler for you to understand. So now I'm going to get back into that Y coordinate, and my ballistics calculator again over here is telling me that I need to make an, an up adjust in the bullet, which is going to be down again with the reticle of eight clicks. So that's going to put me... Uh, from that 16.5, I'm going to come down here and I'm going to end up at 8.5 for my 300 yarder. I'm going to do a long press to lock that position, another long press to save it. And now when you get out here, you're going to see where we have a, a negative 8 click adjustment from our primary distance of 200 which is going to correspond to our three so now we've got the thing ready to go ahead and you know we can test those coordinates at the three and five hundred yards should have us very close um, i hope this helps you out on understanding that know that you can also run your own ballistic calculators uh, just know like in the case of this i run uh, hornady's here it gives you those move adjustments in moa know that you're going to have to take that times four because it, you know, it's quarter unit adjustments. Keep in mind that, you know, the quarter does not correlate to quarter readouts in here. That's actually 16th, but, uh, you know, pretty simple to understand. If you have any questions at all, give me a call toll-free 877-806-2977 or check us out on the web www.foxoptic.com. Thanks a lot and have a great day.